pipe. Alright, stop with the fucking clickety click click clicks. Alright, cool. So now we can go out this way. Q. Alright, we got a couch, love seat. Can we sit down and rest for a minute? No? Okay. Textbook in Espanol. Alright. We got a piece of paper. Bruce Pendleton. Oh, good lord. Dear Head Conservationist from Barrett, due to your exemplary management of the flintlock prescribed for operation last year, the services need to be operation like to offer you position of running office the managing director. Re responsible for operations through the northwestern region. Your assistance will be fought, sought to fill the previous position once. Whoa, what? Oh. Does that mean he'd be taking the place of the mom? Is that against the mom's will? Hey, Lonnie. Sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around her for it, since her forest is like an hour away, and then when she gets home, she takes it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it. I'm sorry. Huh, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband... Dawn is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him, him is her eternal punishment in my mind. Okay. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? I guess that's a fucking no. Massive no. The most devilish no I've ever seen. Anyway, alright. What else we got on here? Froth magazine. Nice. And then we got anything else over here to read? No? Alright. Anything hiding under the couch? Wait, wait, yes, yes. Jan Greenbrier. Stylist. Oh, okay, so this is like her her receipt for when she went and got her hair done. Nothing nothing interesting there. Alright, picture. Ooh, what do we got stuck in the vent? Vent. Stub. Ooh, someone went and saw Earth, Wind, and Fire at the Civic Auditorium. Awesome. That's pretty sweet. I'd go see some Earth, Wind, and Fire. Hell yeah. Do you remember? All right, I won't. Go, I won't go into that. Um, let's see. Is there any more lights up in this bitch? Or no? Okay. All right. So based on the layout of this area, we have. Okay. Let's go to the north room first. Then let's go here first. We have a closet. All right. Closet. Read note. Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was in like it was like three bucks. Americans. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you. By the way, treasured always. Alright. Skull. The skull. I don't see any skulls. The skull must be gone. Skull be gone. Alright, I don't see anything else to really look at in here. Particularly anyways. Alright. Go in this room then. Which is the dining room. Alright. Dining room it is. We got a light switch up in this bitch? We do. Alright. It looks kind of a mess in here, but we'll uh, take a look around, shall we? Mom's purse? No. There we go. Pamphlet. Manual forestry, blah, blah, blah. Nothing interesting. More notes, though. Here you go. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets to for Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to want to go. Her taste in music uh, rears its ugly head again, so that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than... Clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rich. Dun dun dun. Remember the part where I said uh, that was bad that he was that she was giving him such high scores. Now he's got an extra ticket to go see Earth, Wind, and Fire. And clearly she went because we found the ticket. Anyway, where's this at? Hey, mom, dad, Sam. The Vatican is mm, weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. Turtles joke. Loving it. Mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics and pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't go get bored by a bull. Probably. Love, Katie. Wait, what does it say? No butts in heaven. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's funny. All right. So funny. Examine the zine. Check out the zine. You guys love the zine? Open folder. Check the note. Disciplinary referral. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Oh, uh, lame. Probably 
distributing the zine, I imagine. Sam, since you refuse to hear us out at this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand the, what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back a course, and this won't happen to happen again. Dad. Okay, then. I had an interesting talk with Mom and Dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. <laughs> I've known since, like, She-Ra. <laughs> since She-Ra, huh? Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. Interesting. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Very, very long phase. Like one that lasts the rest of your life and theirs. All right, let's read a letter. First off, congratulations, Janice Greenbrier, Regional Director. And I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. Let me get her some water. Uh -huh. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast, but you sound like you're reading a lot into an incident night out. You're sure there's nothing there? Or there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You sure they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. Uh, owe you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady, soon. Okay, so I'm not the only one reading into the relationship thing between her and her underling that she uh, brought in that she seems to like a little too much. Let's keep it going. All right, we got a papeles mug. Uh, uh, no papeles that I can look at, at least. Um, what about that pile? Can I look at that pile? Anything in that pile? No? Okay. Well, then I guess we're going to look at the crumpled paper on the table. Put back. The accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. Oh, okay. I guess the mom or the dad likes it, but she ain't going to do it. Alright. This fucking hallway is dark, man. I can't see a thing. Anyway, let's check out that kitchen, yo. What's up, kitchen? Oh, one of these cassette tapes. Or whatever players. Bratmobile, some special. Let's just let it play. Even if I get sick of it soon. Let's see, that's the savior. Oh, this is the... Okay, the book by the dad. And the mom was telling me. Be my favorite song. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. Enough. Nope, nope, nope. I get it. Enough. Enough is enough. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter Helen Margaret and Mr. Richard Morris Patermick. Ah, Sunday, the fourth of June, nineteen hundred and nineteen five and ninety-five, at half past four. Blah blah blah. So Richard is getting married. Never mind. There goes your, uh, there goes my theories. Sam schedule working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 p.m. to 7, Saturday, 12 to 6. Got it. Oh, we can open the fridge? Hell yeah, grab that milk. Grab that Coke. Is that called Coke? It's called Cola. Could it be good enough? Grab that ketchup. Grab that dressing. Grab the thing behind there. More milk. That's a lot of milk. Relish. Why am I grabbing all this stuff? I don't know. Jam. Cheese. More cheese. More drawer. Dude, there's so many things. Apples and bananas. 
I can't wait to eat, eat, eat apples and beninis. What is that called? Veggies. Frozen veggies. Veggies. Grab box. Grab box. Grab box. Grab box. We have frozen spinach. Yucky. What do we got in the drawers? Nothing and nothing. I don't know what I thought I would find in here, you know? Wait, is there something in there? Ah, oh, it's just frozen. More frozen veggies. And fish sticks. You like fish sticks? Do you like to put fish sticks in your mouth? Me too. Me too. We're all gay fish, I know. Alright. Pressing buttons. My favorite thing to do. Um, we got a pot. We got a cutting board. We got a, a dishwasher with plates and such. I don't know if there's any point to grabbing any of this stuff. Drawers that probably can be closed. Okay. Door. Door. Lots of empty cabinets. For somebody who's supposed to be moved in by now, you'd think they'd have more things in their cabinets by now, you know? But apparently not. So that's cool. I did check this drawer, right? Yeah, that's where I got the, my, that's where I got the tape. Oh, there's a letter on the table. There you go. Samantha and... Uh, what does that say? Uh, I can't even... Daniel... Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny, and they were on an adventure. But they went to the dead, dead part of the woods, and it got dark. Daniel said, are you scared? So Samantha said, no. Are you? They have and went more into the bad part of the fire went into the never there before and there was a ship pirate ship oh and a ocean Samantha said I'll be the captain and you be the first mate Daniel said I captain and they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away Daniel oh. finally came over to get his game I took him long enough it. but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little Oh, yeah? I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how he used to be friends. It's everywhere. How much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. Why wouldn't you believe him? Katie comes home this month. Katie comes home this month. Alright, anything going on in this dresser thingy? Not really. Piece of paper? Congratulations on your new position, Bruce Pendleton. Dear Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier, having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on the position of Regional Okay, so she got the job and she took it. Alright, coop, coop, coop. Oh, viewing binder? Nope. Nope. Alright. Anything up here? Nope. Okay. Um, uh, 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 um, anything else going on here? Don't particularly see anything off the top of my head. Off the top, off the top, off the top. Anything in there. Okay, anything in here? Like just a bunch of more non-perishables. We got some brand fiber, brand with fiber for pooping. That'll help you poop a little pooper. You pooping poops. All right, I don't know why the hell I'm even looking around this place. There's not gonna be anything in the kitchen other than what's on the table, man. Let's just go this way. It's so dark in here. Wait, where the hell is this? Oh, we're in the garage. Okay, or at least what looks like a garage. Like it attaches to the garage. Hey, paper. Dear Mr. Greenbuyer, first let me say that I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. I don't know if I want to read all this. This is long. Do you know how long I've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds or the men in black or any worse creeping and fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on the other side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown dimensions, what you might call a specialist publisher. Okay, so it's a publishing place calling the dad, looking to publish his shit. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Beach, we've been trying to track down the author of the weird and dark American outsider art. Okay, so the dad's going to get all super fucking awesome because he found a publisher who likes his shit. 
Okay, so I type plenty. What do we want from you? We want on your permission to reprint the works since your original publisher marked your books full of a decade ago. We want you to supply new forwards for the books to appear in brand new editions of Axel's Haven and National Pride. Okay, cool. Nice. I'm not even going to read all that, but you get the gist. So the dad's got new prints of his books. Hell yeah. Rolling in that dough, baby. Acting like he never seen a 10 before. He's about to see some 20s, maybe even some hunters. I don't see a whole lot else going on over here. So let's continue on into the other part of the gay garage. This is the gay garage, right? It is, it is. Alright. Um, Sam. It just says Sam. Crownberger. Oh, does that mean she doesn't work there anymore? That might mean she doesn't work there anymore. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have this, the whole, run of the whole house till you leave. Uh, imagine spending actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom's warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. <laughs> you are gross. Never change. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. That's fun. Good times. Good times. Gotta love it. Alright. Anything else? It's funny how many things are just kind of laying around that the parents totally could have found. Oh, there's a letter on the wall. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. June 3rd through 7th, we will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a tra contractor. $40 on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Yeah, $40. She bought so much goddamn pizza, it's everywhere, man. They ate it all, though. They didn't save me any. A bunch of hogs. A bunch of goddamn hogs, I tell you. And you want to save me a slice. Don't even save your sis a slice. Greedy. One last corridor to go down. Let's see what we got over here. Another Barcelona one. Okay, I can't even read it because it's so goddamn dark over here. Do we got lights? We got some lights up in this bitch or no? I might have to bring that shit in here. Alright, hold on. Need a fucking light to read this shit. Hold on. Get some lights up in this bitch? Here we go. Hi, Mom, Dad, Sam. I have had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona, Dad, and Sam. I think you would have liked Gaudi architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I am headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I am running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. All right, so she came home because she ran out of muns. The only reason anybody comes home. Oh, there's a secret panel here. All right, what do we got? Booted out. A going away show. Last show ever for Girl Scout. Okay, so. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. I don't think you can anymore. Because you're going into the army and leaving me here all by myself. I ain't got nothing to do. Anyway, I'm going to wash some clothes real quick. So let me just, uh, I don't know. Here, we'll go ahead and grab the softener and put some of that in there. Um, won't let me grab any clothes. How lame. Oh, there's a note in here. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was there where I'd end up. I'd never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at the base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a th tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together. Until then, L. Well, I mean... Sounds nice, but like I said, high school relationships, you know, we're, whether they're normal or not, high school relationships rarely last. Come on now. 
Let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. All right, so we got the the uh, fabric softener. We should probably put some detergent in there. So let's uh, let's throw that in there as well. Yep. Okay. And we're good. Uh, anybody want to start it up? All right. I guess I'll start it. Thank you. Close. Damn it! It won't close. 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 No. Wait. 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 It's closer. No. 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 Okay. I don't think it's gonna work. All right then. Never mind. I won't wash clothes because they won't let me close the damn thing, and it won't let me press the button to start it unless it closes all the way. So fuck you. Yeah. You heard me. Fuck you. Also, why do I not have the light on? I don't know. All right, in here, I guess. Oh, it's like an atrium. Okay, cool. Coo. Greenhouse, atrium, whatever. It's not like, I mean, whatever. It's a greenhouse. It's an atriatic greenhouse. Ooh, somebody's out here writing shit. Okay. Accidental pariah with lots of notes and shit. All right. Dear Kaz. Cause. Oh, I can't tell you what a joy it was to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of your new editions. The cover is really something. I know you said that the Unknown Dimension isn't in his business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think may be found intriguing. If it's Uncle Tim. So we tried to write another one that goes into the, the. extends his series longer. I wonder how that worked out. Maybe we'll find out cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved a president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future of Danger and Assignment, the days where he mattered. So when the familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. In the, is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. Oh. Oh. It's getting intriguing. Not really. But a little bit. Alright, man. Big ass fucking house and shit, man. Um... Sorry, what's down here? Just a pen, right? Okay. Let's make sure there's nothing important down there. What do you got here? Where we'll do it? Under the stairs. Final preparations are complete. There's a secret door under the stairs in the foyer. Okay. They're gonna do it under the stairs, we guys. We agreed our last night together would be our whoa, happiest whoa. ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. And she was gone, never to be seen again. All right, they did it under the stairs. Oh, what the hell are they doing in here? Possession and exorcism? Oh, I see. They tried to actually call the uncle from the dead. Ah, the attic key. There you go. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Well, then I'm going to go up to the attic and tell my sister that everything's going to be alright. Because I'm her sister. I, maybe I love her. I don't know. I don't know what the relationship's like. I can't pretend like I know. I'm just here playing a game, man. Anyway, to the attic then. Sister, are you here? Sam, I'll always remember what we had. I love you, Lonnie. Alright. 
That's nice. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. Wait, what? I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. Wait, what? She'd been on the bus to basic. And she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army what? and being apart and Love all of it. All, huh? And so she got off the bus in nice. Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Well then. She Daniel Bryan that shit, and she said, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we're not going to find the sister then. She's fucking gone. They fucking ran away together. I totally thought we were going to find her up here. But you know what? I don't think we're going to find anyone. I think we're just going to be all alone, and we're just looking at this house, and everyone's dead and gone. We're just seeing the aftermath. Keep looking around, I guess. Master, whatever. Okay. Uh huh. More masters. More useless masters. Get out of here, master. You're not the master of anything, you master bastard. All right, we got, we got pictures of ooh, hand holding with the locket. Nice. All right, what do we got going on back here? Oh, this is like final boss room. JK, JK. Here we go. Katie. Read letters to Katie. Dun dun dun. And do not read if you're not Katie. Katie. That's the first thing it says. I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. And that's it? That's the game? That's the whole game. That's the whole game. That's the whole game. That's a game? Okay. I guess we're done, guys. Uh, I don't know how many people worked on this game, but I'm going to go with probably not a lot because it was not a very long game. Uh, yeah, so what do I even... What do I even say? Uh, the game itself was okay. I mean, there's not much gameplay to it. You're just kind of walking through the house and finding pieces of things to find more uh, more about the story and like pieces people's lives together with clues and details but otherwise it's like okay that's that's it that's the game hope you enjoyed about reading the story about uh, uh what's sam samantha and her uh her, her loved and lost and loved again and then she ran away and that's why no one's home so, uh, where's Gone Home 2, where the parents show up and be like, What the fuck? Where's our daughter? And then, Kay, Kay, uh, then Kat's, uh, or Katie's like, uh, I don't know, I just got here, so don't fucking blame me. Anyway, I mean, it's not a bad game. I, can you even call this a game, really? I can understand people's complaints when I started the playthrough right now. Because it's not, like, it's not really, it's not really a game. It doesn't feel like a game. It's like a visual novel almost. A very short visual novel where we just, the only controls is to walk through the house and listen to the tapes. Like, that's that's the show. That's the game. If you can call it that. So, to hear this game have such high praise is kind of weird to me. Sure, it's not bad. Like I said, it's a nice little indie romp with an interesting story. With, I mean, the voice acting was really well done. So, like, if this was in a, in a game that actually had gameplay, I would have been more intrigued and riveted and, you know invested in the character, but we're just, I was just basically listening to a story. I don't know. So, I, I don't, I, don't, I, I, got, I don't really know, <laughs> I don't have any p 
opinions one way or the other on this one. It was just an experience. We'll just leave it at that. Um, one that I wouldn't say that everyone has to experience. One time is enough. One time is enough. Whether you watch somebody play it or you play it yourself, one time is probably enough. Now, if, if some in some way this this game impacts you in some way, kudos. Uh, good for you. I'm I'm fine with that. And for personally, for me, I I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's 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 a, I guess you could say it's a well-told story, but otherwise, it's that's all it is. It's not much of a game. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. That's going to do it for this Let's Play. I told you it was going to be short and sweet, and now you guys can get over it and move on as I move on to another Let's Play. Now, I will go ahead and say right now that I, in the beginning, I said I had a long Let's Play, a longer Let's Play, I should say, uh, lined up. And since we've only been doing this for a week, none of my other Let's Plays are close to done yet. So I'm probably going to do another shorter game, probably not quite as gameplay lacking as this was. Something maybe a little bit more... I don't know if I'll call it action-y, but it probably is more action-y. I don't actually know for sure, but I'm sure it's more action-y than this was. So don't be too worried about it being like this again. But it will be another shorter game first, so so if you don't like it, it'll be over fast as well. And then maybe after that we'll get to the longer game I have planned. I want to get to it soon. I don't want to postpone it for too long. It's just like I said, I don't want to have four long games going at once with no end in sight. I want to have one of them almost done before I start starting another long game. Because the other games I'm doing in Persona and Ace Attorney are probably going to take a while. I'm only through Case 2 and freaking through uh, through Case 2 on, on Ace Attorney and who knows how far into Persona. I might not even be halfway yet. I'm probably not even close to halfway. Um, yeah, and then of course there's Sukadin, which I can kind of plan out, but it's still... You know, it's not a short ass game, but we're you know we're we're, we're getting good. we're getting past halfway on there. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about other things. Stop it. This, this let's play is over. Hope you guys enjoyed. For those of you who care, and uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys on something else fairly soon. Peace out. <laughs>